<laughs> my name is Omar Ibrahim, and this is my capstone presentation of learning the art of guitar. In the early stages, I always wanted to learn guitar. I love guitar, especially since my dad had moved here from um, Egypt, and the music that he listened to around that time was heavy metal. Uh, for my 11th birthday, my brother gave my brother's friend gave me a really nice acoustic guitar, um, but I never touched it until last November. Uh, Doctor Alfred was huge in um, in teaching me guitar. Uh, he the first day he showed us that he had a few guitars in the back. And he said that he had a, um, a club every Monday. And I'd heard about these capstones and I wanted to, to do something unique and different that not many people would try or put the effort to do. Um, uh, eventually, when I wanted to stop playing guitar, after I got a little bit good, but I was still struggling, he continued to keep up with my uh, with, with what I wanted to do and keep up with me. And eventually, I, I continued to learn guitar and got better each day. Adversity. Uh, my first few lessons were tough. I could barely play easy chords like uh, E's, uh, A minors, C's, G's, uh, and I was getting drained out mentally and physically. My fingers were hurting because it's it's a it's a heavy guitar, and I was getting tired and I wanted to quit. The song "Nothing Else Matters" was huge in keeping me in guitar and making me love guitar. Uh, it's a really nice song, and it incorporates the features of acoustic guitar and electric guitar and I wanted to learn it but I always got stuck up on this one piece right here I could never play it and I was getting really frustrated and I at, this is the second point where I wanted to quit and get rid of guitar but I just kept trying and trying and then it finally happened I passed the hub uh, I started to understand guitar a little bit more. I was playing uh, easy, easy four chorded songs like uh, Weezer songs. And I was starting to build up slowly confidence to be able to play and farther along the road play in front of people. Experiments. I started playing in front of uh, Senior Hoffert's class. I started playing um, in the uh, in the morning in the gym, uh, in the cafeteria, through the hallways, in my friends' uh, driveways, annoying my neighbors, annoying my friends, annoying my parents, my siblings, my teachers, uh, and annoying my friends. But I was trying to do that just to build up confidence and see if I could, uh, if I was ready to to be able to play in front of people without being scared of messing up or not doing the right thing. My first purchase was this guitar right here. Uh, I bought it back in February and it was a sign of commitment to uh, me wanting to play guitar for a future time. This is this is not a knockoff guitar. It was a guitar that I felt like I could have for a few years that would be a good teaching guitar, but a good, fun, nice guitar for people to, uh, to hear and enjoy the sound of. Uh, oh boy. The talent show was the first my first big performance in front of people. Now, it's a middle school talent show, so it's no Metallica or, or big concert, but it was big to me because I never played in front of people the size of the of the capacity of the people who were in there. Um, and so I was playing a song by the Eagles called Hotel California. And as I went on, I was ready to play. And my last or my first string was not cooperating. Uh, and I was really bummed out. It People said it sounded great, but I felt like that was just to calm me down because I was very angry and unhappy with, with what had happened. And for the next few days, it was uh, it was really tough. It went from a really exciting day from me being able to host a good, to town show and play in it to me being angry. Uh, the days after, I started grinding on guitar. I learned songs or easy riffs like... Uh, or uh, easy Metallica songs like... And I was just, I continued to try and learn just to make sure that I could perform better. And uh, I didn't want to be on stage again. I was really angry and I was just like, that was just a time period where I didn't let anyone distract me and I just continued to learn, but I didn't want to be back on stage. I'm back on stage. Uh, the NJH, uh, NJHS induction uh, ceremony 
was happening and uh, they asked for um, for people to put their names in to play instruments. And I somehow, some way put my name in knowing that I didn't want to play, but uh, I got picked and I was, I was ready to go back, but not ready to go back. I was, I had mixed feelings. The day of, uh, I went on with an acoustic guitar and I nailed two songs that had tripped me up before. Uh, Hotel California, which is the one that I messed up in talent show and Nothing Else Matters, which is the one where I can never get And I nailed them and people clapped and my parents were proud and I felt like it was a redemption from what had happened at the talent show. Life at home. Uh, the capstones for me personally were not just learning in school. It was something that I continued to do outside of school. Uh, most days for the past few months now, I've been playing around an hour to two hours a day of just straight guitar. Because I feel like the more I practice, the more confidence I build up and the more skill I build in terms of playing guitar. Here's uh, here's some of, the, some of my favorite songs. Um, this one's the Nothing Else Matters. songs that uh, maybe even your parents know and uh, learning those songs helped me out a lot in uh, building building my confidence and building more skill. Here's a message. Um, first of all, I want to thank Dr. Hufford and Ms. Hayduk. They both kept me from quitting multiple, numerous times uh, when I was angry, but the message for you guys is to continue playing. These capstones taught me a lot outside of guitar too. Uh, they taught me that through adversity, to persevere through and um, try and find what you're looking for. I've always loved guitar. I just never had the confidence to play guitar. And now that I started to play, I was like, wow, I suck, but I can keep this going. And now I, I've made it to that stage where I don't suck until I try something new. Now I'm on my next phase, which is bar chords, and I suck at them. I'm not, I'm not good yet. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound clean, right? But eventually as I continue to learn, I'll learn those and I'll go through uh, the next phase of the guitar, the next phases. And people can do that too, whether that's with sports, whether that's with academics. Uh, Capstones taught me a lot and I hope they teach you a lot too. Thanks for watching. I'm most proud of uh, playing in front of people because I feel like uh, you don't have to be a guitarist to be able to play in front of people. Uh, you can sing in front of people, ukulele, drums, whatever it is. And I feel like I was an extrovert, but I never wanted to perform. I never thought I was musically good. So being able to play in front of the people at the induction and the talent show was huge. That's my biggest accomplishment by far. I learned two things about myself. At first, I thought I learned that I was a quitter. But eventually, I learned that I'm a, I'm a perseverer. I like to take adventures and run through them even when it looks like the walls are falling. So I learned that I have a lot of perseverance. Uh, well, past bar chords, I wanna, I wanna be a lead guitarist. I wanna play in front of more and more people, thousands of people. Uh, and in terms of life, I wanna continue building my, um, my confidence and my leadership. I feel like uh, there's two types of guitarists. There's guitarists who are rhythm guitarists and guitarists who are uh, um, lead guitarists. And both of them are really important. And I feel like to be a lead guitarist, you got to be able to take the pack with you. And I want to try and build that up as I go along. Tons. Uh, first of all, my parents, they were huge. They uh, they listened to me suck for, for days and days and weeks and weeks and months and months. I was playing strings that were supposed to be played up here, down here. And I was like, oh, I think it's just out of tune. And my parents would tell me, like, no, I think this is you. And they were harsh on me. And I thank them for that now, even though I was angry at them then. Um, my parents were huge. I want to thank the students in the gym uh, for listening to me daily, just playing guitar, uh, because they didn't they didn't make me stop. They didn't tell me stop. They they listened. They went on with their days even as I was playing. Uh, and I want to thank the teachers in the hallways who let me play through the hallways who didn't come out and yell at me for it. I think all those people helped me get to where I wanted to be.